What's going on guys, King Trats here back with the video on the channel and today, first time ever, yes, ever. Like I live under a rock. I'm probably the worst foodie ever because there are a lot of chain restaurants that I have never tried. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it is true. So first time trying Blaze Pizza. I got two different pizzas as well as like their cheesy garlic bread. I wasn't really sure what to order, so I just kind of went in there and just said, okay, give me two of these and call it a day. Low key, not gonna do too much food today. You know, these pizzas aren't really like that big, but we moved, that's what I wanted. First one was a hot link. You remember hot link? I'm a hot link guy. That sounds super sus. Chef's signature recipe, Italian sausage, banana peppers, jalapenos, black olives, no red onions, I didn't want them. Mozzarella, sorry it's mozzarella, and spicy red sauce. That sounds like a dub. I don't know where to put this stuff. Come here. Okay. What do we think? Is this bringing in the points? There we go. Mm. Feel like I don't got enough room. What is this? No, this has got to be a second pizza. Here, let's set them up first. And I tried their new seasonal pizza. I wanted to try this one. Um, it was real, like you know, I have like front and center. So this is the one that they were pushing. This is seasonal. This is a fiery maple and squash pizza. Let me get my little cheat sheet out. Shredded mozzarella, mozzarella, bacon, Italian sausage, red peppers, butternut squash, white sauce, and fiery maple drizzle. I don't know why, but that sounds like like good, don't it? So I had to try that one. I was only gonna get one pizza to be honest. Once I saw this, you know, I'm like a sucker for like promotion type of stuff. I figured maybe some of y'all might have never tried Blaze Pizza or never had this kind of pizza. And then we did the cheesy bre cheesy bread, just a regular cheesy bread. So that's what we got over here. Much better. Now let me get my bev. Got my bottle here, but I don't have anything in it because I found this. I went grocery shopping today and I found this one bad boy. Check this out. If you've never had this, it's actually one of my favorite seasonal things. Sprite, winter spice, cranberry. They have regular, you know, I'm a diet soda person. You don't really find the diet too often. So when I saw it, I had to pick up like three or four of these, I'm not gonna be honest. But I love cranberry flavored stuff. Tis the season, right? I'm actually a Thanksgiving guy, so not really for me, but. I always even pour my soda in here, honestly, because it just keeps it cool. A lot of times I just get one of these and I fill it up with water when I'm sleeping. And I get thirsty through the night and you can still have cold water. And no, that's not a plug. And yes, there is a code in the bottom. <laughs> but that's still not a plug. That's actually facts. I'm not going to show you me sleeping, but I really do do that. I just like the fact that it keeps your drinks cold. I hate warm, like, beverages, bro. Just, nah. I never, never. And if you have been on the channel before, you probably know... I've been drinking out of these bottles since I gave me one back in the day. And when they gave me the bigger one, here they go. Oh, this too. I don't know if I'm gonna show you all this, but this right here, zero calorie, um, zero sugar, I should say, pink lemonade. This whole bottle has like 30 calories, something like that. But I always like beverages like that. Let's try this pizza though. Over here talking. Let's get this fiery maple squash joint. I wanna see what this is hitting for. That is good as hell. This is probably gonna be the weirdest thing I've ever said about getting a pizza. I wish it just had more squash on it. Well, that's delicious. Yo, Blaze Pizza kind of hits, don't it? I don't even know where to start. That's really good. Mmm, that's good. You get the sweetness from the squash, right? But then you get a little bit of that salty and that meat flavor, obviously, from the sausage. And the roasted bread. And that maple drizzle. It really does, like, it's, it's syrup type flavor, without a doubt. You get that maple, but it's got a little kick to it. I wouldn't call this fiery. It's definitely not like fiery, but. This is a pizza that has a weird ass condiments on it and it just works. And I love the super thin crust.
That is the most homemade tasting franchise pizza I've ever eaten. And the, the, the toppings are just right up my alley because they don't make they, they don't make sense when you think about it alone, but together. I'm gonna kill this whole pizza. I love the squash on there. Man, that is fire. Yeah, it's just all gonna eat. Wow. I really like this. This is crazy. I can't say I like the most, but every time I get a hint of that, like, that spicy maple on there, with that bacon, the salty bacon, let me try the sauce. Try the sauce and try the sauce. Man, that's the maple I'm getting too, though. It's hard. Let me try with this bread. That maple on there is out of bounds. Let me get this cheesy piece, though. Get this cheesy piece, yeah. I like this, too. What does this cost? Like $6? That little thing right here? The sauce is alright. The pizza is really good, though. That, that brick oven. Where have I been? Why have I not had this? Mm. Oh, let's try this hot link too. I'm not the biggest fan of olives to be honest, but I don't want to go too crazy in here. I want to try it as is, but the bread is a bit mush. Something just fell. This is fire. Mm. I don't think I could have picked a better combo of two different pizzas to get. That one's sweet and spicy. And this one's like the, the salty spicy going. This one is fiery. Because obviously it's the hot wing. Spicy sauce. Where have I been? Hmm. Damn. Oh my. Coming back in. I don't know who cut this. There was a lady working there. Young lady working there. But thank you for cutting your pizza like this. I'm not, and this isn't sarcasm. Like, this is how all pizzas should be cut to me. Because now, see that? I'd rather have a pizza with four big-ass slices than eight little ones. I just feel like this one's working better for me. Funny enough, the brininess on the olives kind of works and balances out the overall spiciness. A lot of jalapenos on here with the spicy sauce and the banana peppers. It's really good. I think that's still my favorite though. If you haven't been with Blaze in a while and you get there before him to try like a little fall flavor, this is more what fall should be, not that pumpkin. Shit. Like, this is what it is. Damn, I love this. For a franchise, dub. Look at I'm not rating this in the same curve that I would, you know, your mom and pop pizza joints at all. But. There's also something to be said about watching them make it, even though I know they do the same thing at Domino's and stuff. And I like the idea. Let me get the bed. Let me get a little spray. good you ever have that it's like a little tart from the cranberry that's good hey my lady who worked there man thank you so much for cutting the pizza with the big slices come back here pepper mm. that maple that is so good
I'm not gonna lie. I'm not kidding. Specifically, that pizza right there is better than some places that make pizza. I'm not exaggerating, bro. Some. There's a lot of pizza places in North Jersey, but some of the coal-fired places, not the recent one, those, those are delicious, but some of them had over the years. This is better. But whoever in hell said they're gonna put maple on pizza, you're a genius. Because I would have never done that, and it works. Gigi bro like this? No, look at me. Got a little Caesar shit. Like. Does anybody here know anybody who works at Blaze Pizza? I'm not kidding. Because if they're doing that pizza concentrate with the spices and adding water to it and stirring it, they nailed it. Because it don't taste like that. You know, Little Caesars specifically, I know, does it. And I believe Domino's does too. Where they put the concentrate in the big tub and they add the water and the spices and they kind of just use the boat motor to stir it up. They managed to make a pizza that sauce. I'm not going to sit here and say it's the greatest sauce I ever had. Like, come on, stop tripping. But as far as, like, I'm only grading this from the franchise curve because obviously there are a lot of Blaze pizzas across the U.S. Excuse me, shout out to LeBron James. I would go to bat for this. <laughs> I would. I'm surprised. I didn't think it was going to be as good. And I'll be honest. If I wasn't making content, I would never be in a place like this. I got there like right before it was closing, you know. But when I say right before, I mean it closed at 10, I got there at like 9. You can tell they didn't want me to be in there. My man took my order, put his jacket on, walked out the door. He <laughs> like, what you want? Yeah, all right. Boop, boop, bye. He didn't even ring me up. Somebody else did. He was gone, bro. Because I got there like 8.59. <laughs> he took that shit, walked out the door. I said this yesterday. I don't be getting mad about that. I really don't. You know, those are all young people. You know, they looked like they were between like 18 and 21, somewhere around there. And when you're young like that, like I get it. I don't want to be there either. I'm not trying to hold you up. He didn't. He wasn't rude or anything like that. But the minute that I said I was done, he wrote his little thing on here. He was gone, bro. I started laughing. Not out like, not like in a mocking way, but I was like, <laughs> I get it. You know. I do get it though. If you got a job like that, like I get that people come in and extra like you know, like I'm just trying to make this pizza and go home, bro. Like <laughs> I'll be getting mad about that kind of stuff. Life's too short. Don't be a Karen. It's a little little uh, words of encouragement. Look at the bottom of this, bro. Like, that's, that's the flavor. I'm really not making this up. Their pizza in this genre is better than some places that I have eaten at in my area. Again, not so much recently. But over the years, they've cooked this better. 
sometimes we overcooking it whereas this is like that perfect just crispy enough shout out yeah I like this too. I was gonna get the pesto one. Too much pesto makes me sick though. So I don't know. All that oil and pine nuts. I just wanted to check in. I was gonna do a highest graded, but you know, after the Taco Bell fiasco, I've had three meals in two days. Even though it hasn't been big, it's like the, the type of food. Can't be going crazy with that kind of stuff. So, I wanted to try this place because it was right near the place where I was getting my groceries. I was like, say less. Also, not bad calorically. Like, this whole thing is like 16, 1700 calories, something like that. For two pizzas, that's pretty good. Especially two pizzas, which is maples, whatever the stuff is, nectar of the gods. But if you've never had blaze before, I don't even need nothing on this. Now I'm going to do a little bit. I highly recommend you try it. People have been telling me it's good for a long time, but I never get over there. Hmm. Very good. Would 1,000% recommend you try it. I'm gonna have not even put my groceries away. I didn't even do that yet. <laughs> They're sitting on my counter, uh, except for refrigerated stuff. But you get what I'm saying. Mm. All right, I'm gonna take one more bite. My God, yeah, that's so good. All right, we we'll back tomorrow. Back in the kitchen, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to you too.